Yes, yes it is. It turned red, it's good. Anyways, hello and welcome to the review portion of the last map we just did, which was... There's only one way out, I think. Is that the name? Yeah, okay. it's close enough. It's close enough, yeah. It, it's a really long name, it's one part. Full of awesome. I can lock it up real fast, it's gonna kill ya. Not really. It's, there's only, it's, there is only one way out. Yeah, okay, so I got it right. Awesome. <laughs> um, this is part of the new Left 4 Dead Maps.com contest where they're doing disasters. Nation, natural disasters, of course. Um, and this is the first one we found, legitimately. Yes, we played Urban Disaster, but we are not sure if that's still in that natural well, disaster. Well, didn't have the proper tags for it to be a part of it. Yeah, so we don't know for sure. This one actually this one has the proper tags for it to be a part of it. So. Yeah, so we're gonna, for now, we're calling this one the official one we're playing, we played. And this is the first one that we found, in fact. And obviously we all enjoyed it. Um, it had really cool effects. These guys took a lot of time and effort to make the meteors, which I've never seen in any game like this. I've seen the flaming, and the flaming tornado. Flaming tornado, the earthquakes. Well, what do you expect from the guys that brought us Plants vs. Zombies? They took a lot of time and effort. Plants vs. Zombies was good, but they had a theme going on. This one, they just had to take a natural disaster and create their own effect. I mean, it's not too bad. They made everything but, but work right. There's a lot right. of custom content in the other one as well. I yeah. almost want to see what the other map looks like. Because yeah. they've only released three maps. Yeah. I just kind of want to take a look at their third map. It's interesting. But, um... Yeah, we all enjoyed this map, obviously. Um, custom music, custom graphics, um, custom coding, in fact. Only problem is, is I wish I want to play more. Because <laughs> that's this there map. There was a to be continued. Yeah, but I, I mean, I want to play this where it's a full length motherfucking map, not just one part. Well, based on the other walk, I doubt that will show up. Yeah, that's what's going to suck. I mean, if you're looking at their walk, they've pretty much unknown for doing one part maps. True. But they make one hell of one part maps. They they do. <laughs> they really do. You see, this is kind of the right way to do, start us off. When you want us to get excited about a map, this is pretty much the goodest, best possible way you can get it. It's the greatest way. Um, I mean... Well, they all want the few I people was... on Left 4 Dead maps that actually use an actual, almost company-style name. Yeah, and the weirdest thing is that I've always wondered, how are you going to put meteors? I know that was one of the uh, um, disasters well, you, make you could choose. you make a smoke effect, and you make well, it travel across the sky, and then when it touches ground, you make it explode. Well, they had to make it fire, too. They were all orange. Yeah. So, so it was a spawning fire that came down, and when it yeah, touched down, they triggered it. To, they had an explosion. Well, see, I, I was always wondering how they were going to do that exactly into the Left 4 Dead ma uh, game itself. Because you don't see that in any of the maps that we've ever played. We have yet to even encounter Well, one. I've never seen a tornado made of fire either. That so. too. So it's some of that stuff you just wonder, how the hell do they make that? Even though it seems like, okay, you can take certain elements and add them together, but how do they make it work? How do they make it work to a point where it did affect the game, where it's not just, oh, it's there, you can walk right through it. And you won't get Probably it. lots and lots of trial and error. Yeah, it, they did yeah. well to make sure these uh, the friggin' effects worked. Um, so, without further ado, we don't want to delay anymore. Let's get on to the review. Five stars max, one star minimum. Uh, Dread, we're going to go with you first. Thank you, then me. Um, number of infected. Do you think it stayed well for the number of it? Oh, yeah. It didn't get overwhelming at all, so it wasn't overwhelming, was underwhelming, it was pretty much good for the spots where it had hordes, so I'll give it a full star. Alright, uh, Kyo? I should give it a full star because it's what the Imperium of Man would do. <laughs> right. I'm gonna agree with both of you guys, this is full star all the way. Um, they balanced it out for one star... Basically, 
to have one part of a map, you would think that, okay, there's probably only be like 200 infected throughout that part of the map. I think when we did the Plants vs. Zombies, it was maybe a thousand. This one hit a little bit above that, near 1200. We killed about 13 tanks, average on both of those maps. Um, but this one seemed like it was more balanced to the point. Like, um, we didn't have to go search everywhere. We could start the event whenever we needed to. But it kind of gave us a build-up to it. Which, that's what the Plants vs. Zombies didn't do. Is that you knew what you had to do. You just had to stay in this one player, hold out, hold out yeah, on the tower defense. Yeah, also the false map. So they were just testing the waddles, I think. Yeah, and they didn't do too bad on that. Yeah, this one, the this waddles, one, they did a great job on that. Yeah, they did a great job on their first map. And then this came along. And this one blows like the he, other one out, the, all their the Plants vs. Zombies out of the water completely. Everything they did was right, especially with the infected. Um, to have it balanced to where, okay, as soon as we start, we don't have, we can find maybe a couple of the Tier 1 or Tier 2 weapons, but we have an immediate horde come right at us. That, you think, okay, it's going to be hard. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of, you're just cruising through and you find better weapons on the way. You find the med kits, you find the pills, the grenade, the, the throwing uh, items, you know. You start finding all these and you progress until you get to the final part, which then they just throw everything at you. Which, I think you need to tone it down on, on certain items, such as maybe the grenade launchers. There's just doesn't need to be five of them. But, um, In fact, I'd say make there'll be more the uh, M60s. Yeah, turn down the grenades. Probably could have needed more throwing items because while I was throwing out all the Molotovs and stuff, I oh. ran out. Well, you didn't need to throw the Molotovs. Mainly, all you need is the bile, and then you're all set up because well, we, that... there was still bile only left when we finished. There was still plenty of bile left. Yeah, I mean, and bile is all you need, and then this is what you, dropping bile. you see, what you do, Dread, is there's a better strategy instead of just throwing Molotovs all the time. You could do the Molotovs to make it easy, but you're not guaranteed to always hit where you want it to be. Whereas if you decided to use the flamethrowers, like take the gas cans, put them in the flamethrowers, you can actually set it up to where you throw bile constant there and just keep filling the tanks. So... It was a better idea if you did it that way. Plus, they gave us they mounted machines. They were custom made a lot of strategies right there. Yeah, so this wasn't like a hard with the infected. There was a lot. I mean, we hit 1,200 in just one part. You would think that would be overwhelming, but it's not. It's because they built us up, they gave us enough stuff, and then they gave us an inventory armory. So they they made sure it was balanced. Um, so, yeah, one star all around on the first part. Not too bad. Number two, length of campaign. This was a half hour. When I played it by myself, it was 24 minutes, but we kind of goofed off and killed each other in the first try. Hey, didn't do that. Someone threw a Molotov, and it reached and it the gas cans inside the fucking tent. And it One of you two did it. it you know, I know he did it. I saw him I do did it. it. I threw it far enough away. The one inside, it inside the one was not caused by that molly. I saw it. It doesn't matter. It reached enough to hit another... And those uh, gas cans that close to it on that side. Doesn't matter. It was enough it to get inside and kill you guys, plus the bot, and leave me defenseless. What Anyways. Gas cans inside went Keo, off. Keo, Keo, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you For threw you, the... it matters. Keo, and I will you... fight you to the death on this. <laughs> Keo, you threw the Molotov. It started the chain of events. We're going to blame you for it because yeah. you I started it. You... Keo? <laughs> Fuck you. Keo, you started I it. I that... all the bridges. Keo, you started it. End of story. There's no other way you can make me think Dread did this. He might have added to it, maybe threw a grenade. Who knows? It doesn't matter. You started it. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Anyway, length of campaign, 29 minutes. Dread, what'd you think? The length, the length wasn't that bad, because it's sort of like the Plants vs. Zombies. So I'll give it a full star, because there's only one part. Yeah. But it was a really good one part. Yeah. And usually we can forgive length when it comes to the first part of it, if it's just a one part map. 
Uh, Kyo. One stall. That's it? That's all you're gonna say? What else is still to the say? They're gonna see it, the map and then see this. It's one stall. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> Agreed. It, it's, there's really not much to say in the length. It is 29 minutes that we did it. If we didn't goof off, it would have been about maybe 20. Um, it, it's one of those maps that we enjoy for its length. It, we want it to be longer because it was enjoyable. It was that enjoyable. So if there's a two-week continued, I better, better damn well see a full-length version of this map. I mean, like, where we have additions added to it, and they fix it to where it's like a five-part, because then that would be the greatest map ever. Um, I wouldn't mind sitting for three hours just seeing all that, all that Cody. Or, uh, or what they do is just make it really long, but m somehow try to make it work, so transition from Left 4 Dead 1 survivors to Left 4 Dead 2 survivors. Well, they can do that. It's just, it just takes a lot of coding. Um, yeah. Anyway. Well, that, I've played maps that are kind of like that. They want to great. It, it, it takes it, a lot of coding to fix it, though. It's That's better it. to keep them short if it's one part. Yeah. Because, have you tried the Hoodoo map? Yeah, we tried it. We played it. It's long. Yeah. For one part. Yeah. yeah. We you played fuck it. Up, you stalled out from the beginning. I know that kill. We all played it. <laughs> we were kind of there. <laughs> but the people watching maybe have it. Do you realize Left 4 Dead Maps has been out there for quite a while? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> number three, difficulty fitting. We played it on normal, like always. Um. Do you guys think it stayed normal, Dread? What'd you think? Yeah, it stayed in normal, so I'll give it a full star. Alright, uh, Kyo? Full star. What else is there to say from me? It is full. Um, again, it's all balanced. Uh, most of the specials came near the end. Most of the tanks came in pretty much at the end. There was all the health that we needed. There was all the weapons that we needed. There really was there was always a balance from start to the end. Bullshit platforming that killed Keo, you know, there was that. But that's because he derped, and that was the game's fault. But other than that, it's all pretty balanced. There was no really big problems. No instant death kills. Pretty effects. That's it. Which... Flat fire tornadoes. Well, that's going to go into design as we're going... We're kind of segueing through there. Um, design of the map... I think uh, we can all agree it's one star. The, this yeah. is all. This is it's all the stars. It's a one star map. And figuring on that, it's recommended. Yeah. 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 Hands down. It's. This is in beta, and it's a five star map. This is the first time I don't. I don't think we ever gave a beta a five star. We came I don't think close. We ever had a five star map. Well, we all did. We have. We've had Multiple a times. lot of five star maps actually. But I don't think we hit one that was ever beta. I think we have. We might have, but it was near near the end of its process. This just came out a few days ago. And it's in beta. It is growing well. I mean, we came close with Let's Build a Car. Um, Let's Build a Car was in beta. You two gave it four and a half when it was in beta. When it was complete, me and Keo gave it five. I was at two and a half. So it improved greatly. But as far as this one, this is starting off as a five-star map from all three of us. Because it's just magnificent. Everything was right. And it didn't even... It seemed like they didn't even try at that point. Because it was the weirdest thing. is that It's in beta, and they already gave us all that we asked for. Everything was right down. They don't even need to update this. There's no glitches. Well, here's a quick thing. During the whole finale type part, did you guys hear a boomer just gurgling and stuff the whole time? No, no. I didn't. Because I think it might have been my sound mod, but I heard my, I heard a boomer from somewhere. I couldn't find it, and just keep screaming, "Fucking run!" And we didn't hear that. We didn't hear that, dude. It could be your mods. Anyway, uh, yes, also custom mods work on this, which, for a beta, that's rare. 
especially for Keo. Um, it is growing well. It, it is all the things they can straight up say this is completed right now and it, it's perfect. It's one of the better maps. This is one of those maps where it should be in the top ten. Um, you almost kind of wonder how is it going to get... E you kind of wonder how is it even going to get better than this. Yeah, how do you top this? <laughs> and the only thing I say is, is that they find a way. I mean, if they can manage to make the transition from Left 4 Dead 1 and to Left 4 Dead 2 survivors in one single campaign, if they make that transition and make it possible and it works without having a glitch, damn. That's the only way it can be better. Because I would love to see how Left 4 Dead 1 survivors got there. Like, a prequel to this map. And see how they did it. And then, when it transitions, it goes back to all Left 4 Dead 2 survivors. After and we're doing this map again, you know. I would love to see that kind of transition. And I'm pretty sure there is a way. But it's got to take a lot of coding. Um, Probably. It's, you'd have to code the transition in and all that. It be a lot of effort. Yeah, well, these guys do a lot of effort. I mean, we looked at Plants vs. Zombies. I think we gave that, what, about four stars? We think we... The only time we had a problem was because we were kind of stuck in one area. We couldn't have the ability to move around. Yeah. Um, this one, they made it better. Like, they took the... A way they made that, sure they made it so we had to stay there because it... Because that's where all the med kits and pills and adrenaline and yeah, they made it more they made it more balanced in that way. Because when we played Plants vs Zombies, we had to go we had find the no, shit. We had to yeah, find we had it. almost no weapon. We had almost no ammo and stuff. We were running low. Yeah, we found all that shit. That was great. We beat we finished map, but only I survived it because I ran like a bitch on that map. <laughs> well, you kind of had to with like what was it four Fuck. or five tanks right behind me? Yeah. <laughs> Whereas this map transitioned into a better way. I mean, me and Kyo, we, we play for fun a map called Tank Playground. In that map, we just there, there's only tanks. It's a very bland design of a map. However, you take on tanks, and it's very, very wide. There's stuff to look at. I mean, we found a little Easter egg that has a t tank sitting down on a couch watching TV behind a glass panel and we laughed our asses off <laughs> but that's just one but part there, but is there an easter egg of the tank having a tea party with the witch no I don't think we see that but this that map was also one of those balanced ones because you didn't have calm and you didn't have specials you just had the tanks just you start out facing like what five tanks <laughs> at once it was at least five it might yeah. have been a few more, actually. But still, it, we managed to beat that. I mean, that was fun. And it's kind of the same way as this, except you start once you start the event, you run like a bitch for a while. You make sure you have the grenade launcher because it becomes useful. Um, it's probably the only useful weapon in the entire map, in fact. Which, Dread, you have to shoot from far away because if you were to ever play that map, you would instantly crap that, I think. Um, but there's only one grenade launcher, so therefore you're fucking screwed if you lose all the ammunition on it. Um, other than that, that's a different map. We might record that another time. Depends. Um, obviously well, we play. It's not it. blind. Well, it'd be blind you for you. Be blind. It'd you be, blind. be blind. Dread, shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, you heard our review. This is a five-star map overall. Download it, play it, play with your friends. Guaranteed, you'll always want to play this map a lot. It's just one of those maps that you can have a lot of fun on. Or challenge yourself and play it on a higher difficulty with with nothing but bots. It's not really that different. I played it with bots, and no, on, with on higher difficulties. I, I played it on normal difficulty with bots. You would think that would be tough just by myself, considering that I died with you two being idiots. Hey, I didn't do anything. I still blame you. You two were idiots. Anyway, that's how I'm running the recording. Bye-bye. Because you're blaming me. Red's an idiot. Good you're job. both idiots. Yeah.